Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 40 in chapter 28. Chapter 28 is about sources of magnetic fields. There, we need to consider a straight section of a wire of length d. So the up half is d over 2, the bottom half is d over 2, right? And now we can see we need to determine its magnetic field at a point p, a distance r from the wire. So there we can see we need to consider the Biot-Savard laws. So we cut the wire by small fractions. Now look at the small fraction dy, the magnetic field for dy on point P by using Biot-Savard law is this one, right? The distance from dy to P we can write as R. So this is dl cross R, right, at the top part. And dl is a length for this uh, current. So we write it as dy j component. And R is a distance vector from the dy to p, this is the x component, right? r i component minus y j component. Therefore, we input dl and r, we get the function look like this one. And you can say j cross i negative k and j cross j zero. So now we simplify it, we get answer there, right? Input r as this one, it gives us there. So now we can say, we can do the integral from the y from negative d over 2 to d over 2, and then you get the answer there. The next one shows that it is constant with example 11 for infinite wires. So now, if we consider this is infinite wires, that means the d is much, much larger than r. Do you agree? Yes. So for d is much, much larger than r, so we can divide by d for from upside and the lower side. So it comes this one, right? So divide by d, d from upside and lower side, and this term can be ignored. So finally, we get the answer look like this one. This is just the magnetic field due to a straight wire at the very beginning of this chapter. Thank you.